Hello, Golden Block Gaming here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do DirectX 11 image based reflections in the Unreal Development Kit. Right, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to File, select Switch Renderer, and then set it to DirectX 11. This option will not be available if you don't have a DirectX 11 card, or DirectX 11 installed, or a version of UDK which is not past March 2011 or an operating system that does not support DirectX 11 like XP or under really. Um, so then what we're going to do is we are going to bring up the content browser which is down here and we are going to find a material for the mesh that we want to reflect with and here are two textures I'm just going to make material with you guys so we're going to right click new material and we're going to call this material reflect or whatever you want to call the material and then we are going to drag our color map and our normal map in these are the only two maps that we need so we're just going to position these well link the color map up to the diffuse and link the normal map to the normal and then we're going to select the main preview material thing and we're going to go down here select D3D11 scroll down and tick use image based reflections and then we're going to hold one and we're going to click here to create a constant and then we're going to give it the value of one and then we're going to plug that into the specular so you have a nice shiny material and then we're going to click and it's going to apply the material usage and then we are going to apply this material to the mesh that you want to reflect and as you can see there is very little reflection going on at this moment in time so what we've got to do now is first we've got to add a light because you need a light for reflections obviously and then we're going to build the light which hopefully won't take too long and then what we are going to do is we are going to close the content browser because we don't need that anymore and then we're going to click view browser windows actor classes and we're going to type image and then here we've got image reflection scene capture we're going to select that and we're going to drag it into our scene as you can see the image reflection scene actor is already reflecting on the mesh itself which is good good start and so we're going to rotate it so it faces the same way as the mesh we are going to try and reflect as well as encapsulating it in its surrounding box as well as the mesh so yep like that and then we're going to right click on it and we're going to select update image reflection scene capture and then you will see that it stops being a white blob and begins being a T which is my testing mesh so we're just going to align this T up with our T in the game world and then I'm just going to click play from here and as you can see we now have a image based reflection which is calculated in real time I hope you found this tutorial helpful and this has been Golden Lock Gaming. Please subscribe and comment and like and all of those lovely things. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.